This video is part of the ADFS migration challenges series, and today we are going to talk about ADFS two-factor authentication. So what is two-factor authentication? It's a way for your company to implement multiple methods of identity verification. Currently, you probably use the primary method of identity verification that will require a user to type name and a password in a Lawson application when they log in. With the two-factor authentication, you can also implement a secondary method. It may be a special key that you need to insert in a computer. It may be a secure ID device that generates unique codes every minute or so. It also may be a smartphone where you can get a phone call with a unique code or simply a uh, application on a phone where you need to press a button to confirm that you are actually in possession of that smartphone. The point of two-factor authentication is protecting your application from accidental password disclosure. That may happen uh, due to phishing, social engineering, or brute force attacks that have been reported in the past by some of our clients. In this video, I will demonstrate two-factor authentication with one of the popular two-factor authentication service providers, Do Security. Your company may use a different two-factor authentication provider. However, the principles discussed in this video will still apply. If you use a cloud-based two-factor authentication provider, such as Duo Security, you will need to register an account uh, with that provider and also define what services you plan to use with your two-factor authentication. You will also need to define security policies. In order to integrate two-factor authentication software with ADFS, you probably will need to install vendor-provided software on your ADFS server. In case of Duo, it's a Duo ADFS MFA adapter, as you can see in this screenshot. When you install the adapter, you will have new options under ADFS configuration, which will allow you to specify Duo authentication method. So now I will show you how the two-factor authentication with ADFS may look like from a Lawson application user point of view. So here you see a, um, a, a Windows screen with the Mingle 12 icons. And um, I will show you how the login looks like when you try to log in uh, to Mingle 12 portal. And this is a copy of the cell phone screen. Um, I, as you see, I installed a special application on my phone called Duo Mobile. This phone c should also uh, be registered with Duo. The registration um, can happen in multiple ways. Um, uh, for details, please contact analysts and we'll help you to uh, set uh, proper enrollment procedures. Um, when I run Duo, it will come up uh, with an application like that. And when you try to log in, you can type a login name and a password. And uh, you will see a screen that you actually uh, uh, trying to contact a two-factor authentication device. On the phone, as you see, there is a request waiting um, information, and uh, if you click on it, you will get buttons where you can approve or deny the login. If you click on approve, the login will proceed into portal. So dual-factor authentication can alert a user of the login attempt and will allow that user to accept or deny uh, that login attempt. And uh, this second factor will be used in addition to the name and the password you type on the loss and login screen. The integration into ADFS is fairly seamless from Lawson point of view, from Lawson application point of view. In other words, you do not need to configure Lawson in any way uh, so it will be aware that two-factor authentication is in place. 
If you have additional questions about two-factor authentication um, or need help in setting it up with Lawson applications, please contact analysts. This video podcast is brought to you by Analysts, bridging the gap between strategy and IT. Analysts is part of the ACS group. My name is Alex Zichansky.